Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have this comfortable little chair that I'm gonna be sitting in because I think it is so cute. And I don't live near a beach and I don't ever go to the beach, but these are beach chairs that sit like literally on the sand pretty much. So I was like, why not just use them? For my videos so that's what i'm doing i have this one and another one so today's video is going to be about i don't really know how to describe it pretty much i mean the title you should know what it's going to be about but i'm going to be describing in this video what it's like to have add because i feel like there's a lot of people out there who maybe experience problems and they don't know what it is and they need to figure out like whenever i found out i had ADD um, or try to figure out if I had it. There wasn't really a whole lot of resources on the internet or YouTube of, you know, people ex explaining their experiences and there wasn't really a whole lot that I could compare it to um, other than Reddit actually is where I found a lot of information about it. It was a subreddit called ADHD since now technically ADD is in the same like definition as ADHD for some reason. I don't know, that's what they said. That's why there's not an ADD subreddit anymore. It's just all under ADHD. So first off, the difference between ADD and ADHD, if you don't know, ADD is attention deficit deficit disorder and then ADHD is attention deficit hyperactive disorder and so the difference is that with like ADD you can't concentrate obviously attention deficit it's hard to focus on one thing at a time it's hard to get things done and then with um, attention deficit hyperactive disorder in addition to not being able to concentrate one of the reasons behind that is because if you have ADHD you're really uh, kind of fidgety um, you have a lot of energy that's kind of in the form of like movement and not necessarily like, oh, I'm wide awake, but more like movements. I have ADD. I don't have ADHD. Um, I consider ADHD to be a little bit more severe, just in my opinion, because not only do you have problems concentrating, but you also have problems just staying still and just being calm um, and stuff like that. So what I'm going to be talking about today is mainly just the ADD part of it. So I didn't even think that there could be a possibility that I had ADD until my dad actually got diagnosed with ADD about two years ago. Uh, it was me, him, and then my stepmother. We all lived together. There would just be times when he just wouldn't get stuff done or he'd be in the middle of talking and then he'd like space off and then he wouldn't say, he wouldn't continue talking and he'd be like, what were you gonna say? Like you were talking and he'd be like, oh, I don't remember. And just stuff like that would happen all the time. And we used to kind of joke about it like, oh, haha, you probably have ADD or something. And then it started to become more noticeable. Like we used to actually keep track of the times that he had problems. Uh, he talked about a time where he found a weed puller in the garage. And so instead of cleaning the garage, he went to go pull weeds. And he's like, the next thing I knew, I was pulling weeds when I was supposed to be cleaning the garage. So things like that happened a lot. And and then he just wasn't able to concentrate. He couldn't remember conversations he had with people just because he wasn't focusing on the conversations when they were happening. About a year before, uh, about a few months before I moved out actually, he got diagnosed with ADD and he started taking medications and that's when he started to notice that the medications he was taking was really helping him out a lot and he would tell me about all these things that he could do now that he had no idea he couldn't do before. Like he could actually hear the the lyrics to words in a song when he was listening to it like he was paying attention to what the lyrics were and what they meant and he could focus on just cleaning the garage instead of like finding things in the garage that distracted him and then doing things with those things he was able to do a lot more my dog's paws in the frame his back paw his back paw um, he was able to do a lot more um, housework and stuff without getting distracted. He was able to manage his time a whole lot better because he got a lot more stuff done during the day and stuff like that. That's when I started to wonder if I had ADD as well because this is when I was about a sophomore in college. I'm still, I'm in my fourth year of community college, but this is when I think I was going into my third year of community college and I was having a lot of trouble concentrating and you know doing schoolwork wasn't hard for me at all in high school and then once I got into college obviously the coursework is harder but I also just had a harder time staying focused in class. I was on my phone a lot and I know that you know some people would be like well just put it away. It, it was hard for me to even read like I couldn't focus on reading something because 
I there's just so much going on. I, I really had a hard time doing any kind of homework at home that I was supposed to be doing. That's when I started wondering like what what if I did have ADD and what if I had gotten a, a medication or something maybe I would have been able to graduate by now maybe I would have been able to take more classes, maybe that summer class I took I would have been able to actually do it instead of forgetting an assignment and not being able to focus on what I was reading and just nothing was being soaked up by my brain pretty much. So I started to wonder like what if I have this and if I don't do anything about it and if I don't see if I have it then like how do I know? Like what if it could be better if I had treatment for ADD if I were to be diagnosed with it? So I started to think about all the things that I had troubles with. I had troubles with reading. I would have to read a page multiple times before it really soaked in and before I could even remember it. Oftentimes I couldn't even remember something. I would go to school and um, college. I would go to college and they'd be like, who remembers what we read last week? And I'd just be like, I don't remember. I have no idea. And it was so frustrating to me because we literally had just talked about it, like maybe even two days beforehand and now I don't remember like it was ridiculous and it really annoyed me because I was like why can't I remember something that we just learned it was so frustrating uh, and then I started to think about all the times that my stepmom had given me simple 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 chores to do like the dishes every day or making sure that the dogs had their water bowls filled or just like noticing that a potty pad was dirty and picking it up and I just wouldn't be able to do that for some reason. It'd be, you know, the end of the day and she'd come home and there wouldn't be anything done. I hadn't done the dishes. I hadn't filled up the water dishes just because it hadn't occurred to me. I mean, our dogs never really went without water, but they were low enough that they should probably be filled. There was just stuff that like needed to be done and it was obvious things and it just time would go by so fast and I just wouldn't it wouldn't occur to me to check those things which is really weird because I didn't mean to I didn't mean to forget to do these things I didn't want to be in trouble and I would tell her several times you know I don't I don't want to be in trouble why would I forget this on purpose you know I don't, I don't mean to do that so it, it was kind of a thing that caused conflict in our family and I didn't know that it was partially because I had ADD at the time. So whenever I would forget to do these simple chores, she and I would have a talk and then I would completely forget the talk. It would never pop up in my mind ever again. I would forget it. She'd be like, don't you remember we talked about this? And I'd be like, no, honestly, I don't remember. I have no idea. I, I honestly have no clue. I don't remember. I'd have to ask people several times, like, have I already told you about this? Or I'd start telling somebody a story and they'd be like, hey, you already told me this like yesterday. And I'd be like, really? I did? And they'd be like, yeah, you did. And I was like, oh, okay, sorry. Um, And then so I did move out last year, about a year ago, I moved in with my boyfriend and um, still having the same problems, not able to study, um, not getting anything done around the house, like simple things like the dishes or filling up his ice trays for him for the next day. And so he'd come home and he'd be like, why haven't you done this? Like you've been home all day. And I would just be like, I don't know. Like I, I don't have any idea. I haven't, like I have other stuff that I've been doing, but I wasn't ever able to focus on one thing and get it done. So I wasn't getting anything done. And he obviously wasn't very happy about that because he felt like he was the only person in our household, just me, him and our dog uh, doing anything any time of the day he was like he was like I feel like I'm here by myself you're not helping me out and I was just like I don't I feel bad because I don't know why so it was becoming an issue with my relationship and I was like you know what now is the time that I have to find out if this is a problem because if it is it could potentially make our relationship a lot stronger another thing was that you know I'd be watching TV together or we'd be watching TV get it together and he would try to tell me about his day and I just couldn't multitask like I couldn't watch TV and listen and have a conversation with him at the same time or like anything distracting I couldn't have a conversation with anybody I would just be like uh-huh like yeah like default responses totally on autopilot not even paying attention to what anybody was saying and it wasn't on purpose like I wanted to hear what he was saying I wanted to listen to him I wanted to recall conversations in the future when you know I'd be thinking about something I wanted to be able to think like oh yeah Harley likes this or he doesn't like this or you know vice versa like whatever and I just it just never occurred to me past conversations would never pop up in my head and it was like I was just living in the now and <laughs> the only information I had consisted of what was happening right then and what my eyes were seeing right then and what my brain was comprehending in a specific moment and not like cross-referencing past experiences um, with past conversations and stuff like that. It was really weird. It was like I was very very simple-minded. Somebody who doesn't have ADD has like a sponge brain like they can 
learn something and they can remember it as long as they keep exercising the part that they learned. So like if you learn a new language, just make sure that you remember, like, you know, stuff like that. Um, like continuing to use it or like sticking to a routine, doing things the same every day, stuff like that. Well, if you have ADD, like there's a brick wall. So information only goes so far into your head until it stops and then it's not in there deep enough so it just fades away. Anything I would read, I would have to read that paragraph or that page several times over again before I was like, okay, this is what I read, this is what it means, and stuff like that. So it wasn't like a simultaneous thing, it was like my learning was spaced off and I had to like force myself to like understand what I was reading super super frustrating not only that but like if i wanted to go somewhere it took me like an hour to leave even if i was ready like i would keep finding things that needed to be done before i walked out the door so i finally made the appointment to go see the same doctor that my dad went and saw kind of easier than i feel like it should have been first of all the doctor's office that i went to i was the youngest person there i'm probably the youngest patient they have it's like an elderly person's doctor's office for some reason he asked me he was like did you have any problems in high school with studying or concentrating or anything like that and i said no because or he was like how was your grades and i was like my grades are actually really good like i was on the top 10 percent of my class but then i started to remember like i never had homework i never had to do any work at home nobody ever assigned me any kind of homework and if they did i would often get it done in that class so i didn't have to take anything home i wasn't accountable for my own assignments and getting them done i just did them in class so i never knew that i had a, a concentration problem until i got to college and then i was like whoa like it shouldn't be this hard to learn these things like why don't i remember things that i just learned like three days ago so i told him that i was like yeah Actually, I did really good in high school, but that, I think that's because I never had homework. Like, I never had a task set that I had to get done on my own time. So, um, he was like, okay, well, you can try this for a month, and we'll see how it goes. So, he gave me a medication, and I started trying it, and I, I went to, I remember going to a night class, because I was in, like, macroeconomics or something, and I just remember, like, sitting down after I had taken my medication and just reading, and I didn't have to read it more than once. Like, I read it like maybe twice, but it wasn't like the seven times that I'd have to read something for it to actually stick. Like I actually was able to understand what I was reading as I was reading it, as opposed to like reading a sentence and then having to like come up with what that meant in my own words so that I could understand it. It was super nice. And then uh, I remember going out for drinks with one of my friends and she was talking to me and she was telling me a story and I was like totally able to focus on this story and engage in conversation with her and, and ask her questions about her story because I was able to focus on what she was saying and like actually think about it. Before, I would just listen and it would just go in one ear and out the other and I'd be like, yeah, uh-huh, okay, cool. And then that would be that. But this time, I was actually listening to what she was saying. I was able to understand. I was able to follow her story. And I was able to, like, ask her questions at the end about it and just be actually genuinely interested. And that's something that I was so excited about, especially when it came to being able to just have a conversation with my boyfriend and just, like, watch TV with him and be able to do other things. And you know, now that I'm on medication, I can I can do my homework in the same room as my boyfriend when we're watching TV because we don't get to spend a lot of time together. So it's nice when I can do my homework in the same room as he is when he's watching television instead of having to close myself out of all noises and all distractions just to do some simple homework. So that was pretty exciting for me. Um, so yeah, basically ADD, it's very much, it's very hard to explain. And I feel like that's why a lot of people think that it doesn't exist. I feel like it might not, like when people talk about it not existing, they talk about it not existing in things like, in people like children, because children are just naturally known to like have a short attention span, their brains aren't fully developed and stuff like that. But when you get into your adult years and you're more mature and it starts to come out, then people are like, oh, like, you know, you're this old, you should be able to concentrate, you should be able to do this and that that other people can do. And it can be really frustrating when, you know, people don't believe that you have an issue that you want to get fixed. Like my boyfriend was skeptical about it because I couldn't explain it to him. I had no idea how to explain it in a way that he would understand that it was something I couldn't control and something that I had an issue with. And like oftentimes I'd go to bed and I would just lay there and cry because I didn't understand why I was this way. And now I don't do that anymore. I can concentrate on things. I can get stuff done. I can plan out my whole day and accomplish everything that I wanted to plan out. Um, and yeah, so it's just really awesome to know what what the issue was and be able to get treatment for it so if you have any further questions about 
ADD and what it is and uh, what the symptoms look like and stuff like that, uh, I would definitely visit the subreddit on Reddit under ADHD. I don't think you have to have a Reddit account to actually go in and watch or go in and look at, you know, forums and stuff like that. I really would recommend it because there are a lot of people who have similar problems to what I had and just reading their experiences and then reading the experiences of people who got treatment for it and were so much happier. It just helped me out a lot in knowing that, you know, kind of like a self-diagnosis, like, oh, this is probably what I have. Um, and it also helped me understand how to explain things because some people had thought about an explanation for things that I hadn't thought about yet. So I was like, oh, finally, like that's a perfect way to explain it to my boyfriend or explain it to my parents or explain it to my doctor, how I'm feeling because it was really hard to put that into words. And also, I don't know, I probably can't notice, but uh, my YouTube videos are a lot easier to put together because before I would be talking and then something would catch my eye and I'd just be like, oh, what was I saying? Like, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so that's what I would do all the time. But now I can just talk continuously and just kind of pull words out of my head instantaneously and not have to worry or think or write a script about what I'm gonna say. So I suppose that that is the end of this video. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in this video, go ahead and leave those down below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time.